It's the end of 2022. It's a time to reflect and take a look back at the past year. So I'm going to be counting down the top five guitars I played and reviewed on this channel for 2022. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, the Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So as I said, 2022, it's been a crazy year for many of us. It's time to take a look back, and I was limited to five, and I have actually limited myself this year to five. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you want to do, you know, your throw it in there, like honorable mentions. Can we stretch it to six? But let's be disciplined. This means that they are more meaningful. I had to limit it to five. Here are the top five in no particular order. Favorite guitars that I had a chance to play and review this year. So coming in, number one, again, in no particular order, it is a Martin Custom Shop Madagascar Rosewood 12 fret dreadnought. This was a fantastically wonderful guitar that Cooper and Patrick had the chance to acquire for us when they visited the Martin factory earlier this year, and I did not get a chance to go. I was bummed. I've gotten a chance to go in the past. There are other things that were preventing me from going this year. Patrick went in my stead, but the consolation prize was getting to play this wonderful guitar that they found at the factory and purchased for the store that now has its own wonderful owner. I found myself as I do at times, alone in a room full of guitars playing that Martin Custom Shop 12 fret with Madagascar Rosewood back and sides and having what I would say is kind of an emotional moment. That guitar was so good that it moved me. I played things I had never played before. Sometimes I say that guitars uh, have songs in them and this is one of those times. We reviewed it on our channel along with another custom shop it was pretty stellar. Take a listen. The next guitar on my list was equally moving, and it also comes from Martin, um, and that was the Martin D18 Authentic 1937. Now, Cooper and I did a video this year with that guitar where we compared it to a modern deluxe D18, and both of us were completely smitten with the Authentic 1937 D18. I really believe that Martin just knocks it out of the park when they are making these age-accurate uh, kind of throwback, effectively custom shop instruments um, that are, and, and this is maybe a strong statement, but I'm going to stand by it. I think Martin's authentic guitars are the closest guitars that I've ever played that are brand new and as close as possible to the vintage models that I have played. I've had a chance to play a number of 30s Martins, and every time I pick up an authentic, I'm... I'm transported back. They're really that good. Absolutely stellar. Had a joy playing that guitar. It was phenomenal.
Okay, to break it up a little bit, from a different builder that we often feature on here, one of the funnest and most impressive guitars and changes that I really liked was the new Taylor 724 CE. Now that was tough, and I kind of decided to, to, to do this on a guitar that is, is in stock, and it's in production, and isn't one of our exclusives, because it's kind of cheating when we choose our exclusives, honestly, because our, our exclusives are pretty phenomenal. But Taylor making the choice to change the long-running 700 series away from Rosewood and come out with this all Koa guitar that has its own unique aesthetics and its unique bracing and sound and tone that, that sets it apart from their normal Koa line, um, I think was a stroke of genius and created a guitar that we have seen flying off the shelves. It's been very popular. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the tone that comes out of that guitar. I'm a huge fan. They sound phenomenal. Check it out. Okay, I gotta return back to Martin for a bit. And I know I said I'm excluding our exclusives. Kind of, I'm cheating on this one because it is an exclusive, but it's custom shop. You could spec this guitar if you wanted to. That is our run of Martin Custom Shop OMs, AKA the Cooper guitar. That guitar is special. Um, when Cooper was pitching me the idea and, and his idea for what the spec should be, I was just completely on board from the get go. It was a great, mix of selections. You know, it's a bit of an art knowing what to choose when you're going the custom shop route. You can choose to make a very expensive guitar that at the end of the day is more art than instrument. Um, and then you can choose to go the other way and make something that is an incredibly special instrument, but is rather plain. And then you can strike the balance in the middle, which is what I really feel that those guitars did. Uh, by the way, we happen to have one as of the time that I am reviewing this uh, available. It's the last one we have that I think uh, came out of Layaway or something. And I got to play it again after not getting a chance for months to play those because they were all gone. And it just, again, pleasantly surprised and kind of enthralled. It's a really great guitar. Um, good job, Cooper. And it definitely had to go on this list for one of my favorites from this year. Take a listen. <laughs> Bye. 
And finally, I know I'm the acoustic guitar guy, um, typically, and that's mostly because Cooper plays electric guitar, really any guitar, better than I do. But I, I do love acoustic instruments. I love the, uh, the, the naturalness, just the, 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 the casualness with which you can play the instrument. You don't have to plug it in, you pick it up. It's very organic. I do love that. But I would be remiss if I left something off my list that is not an acoustic instrument. My last one in my top five might be surprising for many of you, but it's the Fender Aerodyne Telecaster. That is a freaking cool guitar. I mean, I geeked out over it. The, the dolphin gray color that we had on that first one that we shot a video on is really cool. I didn't think I would actually like it that much. And in person, it's such a cool color. Um, the feel of that guitar, the choices that they made, the build quality, the setup, the, the features. I love the radius and the bridge that Cam system that they have for those saddles is brilliant. I absolutely love that guitar. I fear, and I've said this when we reviewed the Strat version recently, that they are not going to get their due, that the, that the audience is going to overlook these guitars. And that would be such a mistake. They're such good guitars. I mean, put it, put it in context. Fender also launched their American Vintage 2, and not to take anything away from those guitars, but coming up with this list, I had to pick that telly. It's such an amazing guitar. It sounds great, it plays great, it looks cool. It's a, it's a modern Telecaster, and uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. And Cooper does a really good job playing it. Check it out.
you have it. That's my top five. There are no honorable mentions. There's nothing. There's not a surprise number six. I've kept it to five. Have you ever tried to do this? Have you ever tried to make like a top five or top ten list? It can be difficult, particularly when you've played a lot of really stellar instruments. Truth is, a lot of what we've reviewed this year has been a lot of fun, and they've all been really great guitars. Uh, but narrowing it down, these were the five that were, if that were the best and possibly the most meaningful or memorable to me. But I'm curious what you think. If you watch our video or if you've gone back and looked at anything that we shot for 2022, what was your favorite guitar? Was it something that moved you to purchase it and so it's something you'll cherish forever or something that's been kind of haunting you because you watched it and it's like you've got to get that in your hands at some point? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, go back and watch those videos and make sure that you subscribe, follow, uh, like and uh, all that stuff. Come back and check us out. I, I always say the best guitar in the world is the one you're playing. 2022 gave us a lot of great examples of guitars that we should be playing. Let's get back in 2023 to playing them and making music. See you later.